Hello students, welcome back to Captain Academy and today we are going to talk about one of the important type of the plastic which are known in the food industry known as polyolefins and polyesters, right? So polyolefins as I already mentioned in my earlier classes is categorized into two categories. First category is your polyethylene also known as PE and second category is your polypropylene you have polypropylene which is also known as PP right so both of the polyolefins types are basically have the same properties same properties like they are water resistant water resistant, malleable and durable, right? But polyethylene, it again also categorized into different categories. First category is your LDPE, which is known as low density polyethylene. Second one is your LLDPE, which is known as linear low polyethylene. Third one is your VLDPE, which is known as very low density polyethylene. And fourth one is your HLDPE, which is high, sorry, HDPE, which is high density polyethylene, right? So from all of these categories, LDPE and HDPE is the one which is commonly used in the food industry as well as in other type of field for the packaging of materials. So if we talk about LDPE, then as I said, it is the low density polyethylene and it is basically used for the formation of crushed bottles, shopping bags and highly resistant sacks and most of the wrappings. Other than this, they are also used in the packaging of frozen food, which are actually being stored in the, in the minus 70 degree centigrade right other than this they are also used in the bread packaging if we talk about the high density polyethylene then this one is also have high melting point right and this one is used in the packaging of juices in the packaging of milk or in the packaging of water. Apart from that, it also used in different type of packaging like cleaning agents, laundry detergent, bleaching agents, shampoo bottles and washing and shower soaps. So they are used and they are made up of your HDPE which is high density polyethylene. Right? Now let's talk about the another category which is the polypropylene. So polypropylene as I said it also has same property as the poly ethylene one right but this one is actually denser harder and more transparent than the P E plastic packaging right it has a good chemical resistance chemical resistance so it does not allow the chemicals to actually get passed from the plastic films and it also is a very good barrier for water vapor. So it also does not allow the water vapors to enter into the food material. Apart from that, it has the high melting point which is up to 160 degree centigrade and basically it is used in the packaging of Yogurt container, yogurt containers or in the margarine tubs, margarine tubs, right? So this one is actually stronger, harder and denser than your polyethylene plastic packaging, right? As you can see here, polypropylene, it is stronger than the 
PE one, and this one is also used in the furniture, consumers, luggage, toys, etc. Right? Now let's talk about another category of the plastic, which are known as polyesters. So polyesters, as you can know by the name, they are actually synthesized by the condensation, polymerization of poly. polymerization of ester monomers right in case of pe and pp you can say the monomer unit is ethylene and propylene so in case of polyesters the monomer unit here is your ester groups right and this one is also categorized into different type of categories first type is your polyethylene polyethylene tere phthalate just known as pet or sometime it is also known as pete right this one is the most common plast plastic also used in the food industry second one is your poly carbonate right and third one is your polyethylene naphthalate poly ethylene naphthalate this one is known as pen polycarbonate is known as p c right so pet here it means that this one it is produced or synthesized by the polymerization of terephthalic acid terephthalic acid is used here for the polymerization which actually leads to the synthesis of pet plastic right and this one is used in the packaging of different type of beverages mineral water and other type of food products right it has the properties like it is in light in weight it is transparent it has a good property for gases it actually stops the gases to enter into the food material right or it also is a shatter resistant plastic so it does not break easily right and it also has a high shelf life right? if we talk about the pc polycarbonate one so polycarbonate here this one is actually synthesized from the polymerization of sodium so of bisphenol bisphenol acid with phosgene with phosgene the problem in the polycarbonate is that this bisphenol acid is actually toxic or you can say it is a hazardous compound and it is actually hazardous for the environment right so phosgene here it is a carbonyl so it is a carbonyl dichloride so polycarbonate is actually synthesized by the sodium salts of this phenol acid with the phosphate phosgene right and it also has the properties like it is a good barrier against the gases aromas temperature and also provide the good resistance against the water and lipids right and it has the melting point more than 230 degrees centigrade right another category of the polyester is your pen which is known as 
polyethylene naphthalate. So polyethylene naphthalate, it is synthesized by the dimethyl naphthalene naphthalene dicarboxylate dicarboxylate and ethylene glycol ethylene glycol right and this one plastic it is temperature resistant temperature resistant similar to pet but it has higher barrier property for the gases as compared to the pet right it also has barrier capacity ability for the gases like co2 oxygen and water vapor so that the, it actually does not allow the outside gases to enter into the food material which actually leads to the spoilage of the food right and this one is actually expensive than the pet packaging material right so these are the important types of the important type of the polyester and polyolefin plastics which are used in the food industry and they have very special properties like water resistant gas resistant and they have high melting point right there so that's all for the today